Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today we're back for another monthly songwriter showcase hosted by Hal Savar at Soul Belly Barbecue on Main Street in downtown Las Vegas' Arts District. This venue offers all sorts of good things, including live music, award-winning barbecue, friendly staff, and a thriving arts community within walking distance. If you want to be featured on the showcase, hit up Hal Savar using his social media handle down in the description. I've put those down there for every act mentioned in this video as well. And uh, if you couldn't attend this one, but want to catch up on all the action, I've included the live stream link down there as well. Now then, everyone get on the party bus! To Room 6 Mobile! This video is brought to you by Dog.com. We'll hear more about them later. For now, let's get on to today's video. Located on Main Street on Brewery Row in the Arts District, Soul Belly Barbecue has quickly become a mecca for great food and great live music. You can check out my review of the venue after watching this video. At this point, these showcases are basically Room 6 reunions, with most performers having either been on the channel or going to be in the near future. It attracts music lovers from all over town and word is getting out. If you'd like to be on the channel, whether reviewed, interviewed, or both, hit me up using the Room 6 email address or social media link down in the description. That's also where you'll find ways to support the channel, and it all helps. Um, whether catching my weekly podcast on Twitch, all about the local music scenes, um, supporting me you know, with room6.shop, online merch, however you want to do it. It all helps. It helps me put on you know, showcases to support the local scene and make better videos. Thanks! As usual, opening things up was our host, the human jukebox himself, Hal Savar, who would be joined throughout the night by Amonti the drummer on drums and DJ, aka Deuce, on keyboards. Hal's music is musical storytelling 101, with every song including a backstory and many pulled from his own life experiences. He never fails to capture a crowd's attention and get everyone hyped up for the next act. Following Hal was Mandolin, one fourth of the band The May Before. Whether as part of the group or flying solo, Mandolin's music is unapologetically strong and growth-based, and always written from the heart. She's a solid songwriter and a solid anchor for her band. Coming to the stage next was another quarter of the maybe four, Russell Christian. Russell's music is part Americana and part folk, utilizing memory-evoking lyrics and interesting guitar chord structuring. His low-key manner belies his musical prowess on stage, and his lack of histrionics or attention-grabbing forces the audience to focus on his storytelling. Going by the name The Altered Script, and sharing the best name in the business, Josh Gilbert was up next. With a set that is built around a loop station and multiple effects pedals, his songs get built from the ground up, combining elements of traditional folk music with a bit of space rock. The Altered Script is a great name for what happens to you when you hear it. In a good way. Coming up next was 1 16th of the maybe four, Chris Dunn. Chris is also a music teacher and it shows in his complicated song structures and his nice guy rock as he calls it. With upbeat rhythms and bright vocals, he was a great breath of fresh air that set the stage nicely for the next act, which was a new songwriter, also new to the Soul Belly stage, in the form of Caroline Tronowski. Performing just one song, she introduced herself to the audience with a sweet voice that rang out over simple chords and vocals full of emotion that promised great things from this young songwriter. Following Caroline was the insanely popular Beyond the Arrow, born out of music written by Emily Stinnett and Nathan Peterson. Though the band members are young, their musicianship is in full effect with solid songs full of pivotal moments. If you haven't seen them live, you really should. And now, a word from our sponsors. Thanks, Josh, from the past. Today's sponsor spot has a special guest. Meet Chloe. She's a bit of a diva, but we tolerate her, and she tolerates us. But taking care of this little monster can get expensive, which is where Dog.com comes in. Dog.com is your online dog supplies shopping and information destination. Founded in 1969 as the parent company to a wide variety of pet-related websites, Dog.com provides a broad range competitively priced pet supplies, as well as community forums and partnerships with several national and local rescue and adoption facilities. Just for watching this video today, and for a limited time, 
you can use my affiliate link down in the description to get 10% off your entire order. Plus, you'll be helping out the channel. Say bye. Thanks to dog.com for being a sponsor. And let's get back to the show. She's never this quiet. Next up to bat was All at Odds, a cookie band of cookie guys. This group grew out of the music written by their frontman, Just Jeff. Yes, really. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. Anywho, Jeff and the band played music full of cheeky lyrics and wry humor with solid songwriting full of a strong rhythm section and guitar solos that fit each song nicely. Up next was Joey Hines, one quarter of one half of the band The May Before. Joey's music runs the gamut from comedic to intensely heartfelt, and there's an obvious attention to wordplay and crafting music with multiple layers. Whether performing solo or with his band, The May Before, Joey is an experienced songwriter, and every listener is lucky to hear him perform. The next act was perennial showcase star Quinn Turner, along with Fabian de Armas playing drums. Unfortunately, their set was also limited to one song. Quinn's short set brings the sexy back with old school vibes, using euphemisms and mellow guitar sounds to get everyone in a loving mood. He also plays cover songs around town, so check him out live if you get the chance. Coming up next was Joe LaRocco, better known as Joe the Associate, with Bryce from Beyond the Arrow on bass, Sarah Sinclair also on vocals, Fabian staying on drums, and Casey Cards on guitar joining him on stage. Joe's sound is just like him, a little quirky and a little classic. Classic rock, that is. There are definite influences of Pink Floyd and early Eagles present, and Joe's lyrics keep things interesting for the listener. It's always a hoot when he gets up to play. Coming up next was Chalmer Harper, helped out on stage by his band. One word sums up Chalmer's music perfectly. Powerhouse. Belting out vocals full of energy, his songs are full of inspiration, and an obvious love for the songwriting craft. His band should definitely be checked out if you get the opportunity. Overall, this month's showcase was so much fun and a great live showing of what the local music scene in Vegas has to offer. The next one is May 21st, and I hope we'll see you there. And if you can't make it in person, jump on the live stream. See you there. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that you'll check out all the acts mentioned in this video by using the social media handles I put down in the description. If you want to be on the showcase, like I said, hit up House of R. If you want to be on Room 6, hit up me. Other than that, if you want to see uh, more videos like this, please click up here. If you would like to hear some of my own music, click over there. And if you'd like to subscribe, it really does make a difference and I appreciate all of you. Click up there. Don't forget to ring the bell so you get notified when new things post. And if you want to, you know, join us the next one, you'll have a blast, whether physically or on the live stream. In the meantime, remember to be amazing and we'll see you next time on Room 6.